Hey, my name is Ian Westerman, and I'm the head pro at EssentialTennis.com, where it's our mission to bring passionate instruction to passionate tennis players just like you. Welcome to episode number 50 of Ask Ian. Today we're going to be answering a question for Gianni, who wrote in and said, Hey Ian, I was just wonder wondering if you can either make a new video or give me some tips on what the difference should be between your first and second serve. Normally, I try to hit a flat one on my first serve and then a kick on my second, but I've struggled to get any consistency. Okay, really good question, Gianni. We're going to talk a little bit about tactics and strategy, and we're also going to talk about technique and address your statement about consistency, which is extremely important, especially on that second serve. It's vital that you have a really, really confident second serve that you can fall back on and we'll talk about that in a second. First, let's talk about your first serve. And my, my biggest piece of advice there would be simply, uh, tactically speaking, to use what works, <laughs> which is probably the most obvious statement that you'll hear on the internet today. But uh, let me explain. Let me go a little bit deeper into that. Number one, know your individual strengths, meaning not everybody has a great first serve uh, that's a flat serve. Um, Quite frankly, I rarely use flat serves. <clears throat> if I'm having a really good serve day and everything is clicking, then I'll, I'll pull it out here and there and I'll basically go for a free point or an easy point or an ace on my, my first serve with a flat delivery. But more times than not, I'm using some type of spin with a really aggressive placement for my first serve because I make many, many more of those. Flat serve delivery is just gonna be much lower percentage, really just kind of by definition. And so when you make it, it's great, but not everybody can make it very often. So now, key number one, you must know your personal strengths and weaknesses. Key number two, tactically, you must know the weaknesses of your opponent. Some players, uh, when you rifle a flat serve, love it. It plays right, you know, plays right into their strike zone, and they actually do better when they're getting something at waist height and fast and hard. They, they're good at deflecting that pace and redirecting it. Uh, other players hate pace and they just kind of get handcuffed and they don't know what to do and they, they freeze up. Just random examples. So you must know yourself, you must know your opponent, figure out the pattern that works the best in each individual situation and then hammer on that pattern again and again and again on your first serve delivery. This is like, you know, just a foundational strategic approach that you should be using match after match after match. It's going to give you the most success on that first serve delivery. Now, on the second serve, you should be attempting to hit the most confident, aggressive, accelerated swing at a spin serve that you possibly can on your second serve. The worst thing that you can do on a second serve is decelerate and play it safe and just push the ball into the box. You'll have no confidence that way and your general ability to advance in tennis is going to be really, really hampered if you're constantly just relying on just a push serve into the box. Now, you can use slice, you can use kick, which is just basically pure topspin. You can use a combination of each. Quite frankly, I mean, my personal favorite is kind of a mixed topspin and, and slice, but you can use any of those as long as it's an aggressively hit, confidently hit uh, spin serve. And in order to do that, you need the right swing path and you need a lot of acceleration. So these are the things you should be focusing on. Uh, if you'd like some help with that second serve delivery, the, uh, the correct swing path and the most amount of acceleration possible, I'm gonna put a link in the description down below. It just is gonna take you to a page that lets you know about our course called Max Serve Acceleration. It's absolutely perfect for both first and second serves, but really predominantly that second serve, learning how to develop that big spin and that big acceleration so that you don't have to slow down in order to hit a very confident and very consistent second serve delivery at the same time. So check out that link in the description down below. If you've enjoyed this video, do me a favor and click like. And if you have any comments or questions related to this topic, you can leave those in the comments down below. Uh, Gianni, thank you so much for the question. I appreciate it. If you're watching and you have a question that you'd like me to answer on a future episode of Ask Ian, leave that in the comments down below as well. Until then, take care and good luck with your tennis.
For hundreds of free digital tennis lessons, head over to EssentialTennis.com right now. More wins and more fun on the court is right around the corner. You'll even get a free gift just for stopping by. Simply click the link at the top of any page.